Welcome to my channel. I am Mario and this is Sentinel Tech TV. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to comment down below as the YouTube algorithm is so into that. Also smash that like button, hit that bell notification and share this to your friends as this will greatly help my channel to grow. For the longest time, I had issues on how to make my thumbnails better. Before, it was a disaster. Everything is all messed up. So I looked at around to find an app for this task. But lo and behold, everything is either too complicated or too expensive. Only until recently, I found this web-based app. It perfectly matched all my needs and requirements. Free, ease of use, lots of fonts, accessible to all my devices. And I've been using this app for a little over a week and the name of this app is Pixlr and I'm very happy with it. So we're now gonna dive into the tutorial. First, open your browser, Safari, Chrome, or what have you. Bear in mind that you can do the same in any device that can run any web browser. And I'll leave a link down below for you guys. For these purposes, we're going to use the Chrome browser. Type in Pixlr. Choose the pixlr.com photo editor online. And now you're here at their website. As you can see, I already uh, signed in. Now you can choose to log in or no. That depends on you either way. If you're just into editing thumbnails, this is enough. On the subscriptions, included are some advanced tools and shorter ways to do editing. There are two types, Advanced Pixlr E or Playful Pixlr X. For me, I usually use Advanced Pixlr E. Choose an image here. You can edit here also. You have your tools here. Some of the tools here are locked due to subscriptions. If you want these tools, some of these advanced tools, you need to su subscribe to them. It's not that uh, pricey. I don't know if it's a one-time subscription or one-time payment or a monthly or yearly payment but I haven't tried it yet before so we'll just dive into the editing. For example, you have this for, uh, image, you can choose this text and then you have this layer also. You have text here, click on that one and then you can edit the text that you want to put on so you can see here all the fonts in that are available and there's a lots and lots and tons and tons of fonts here it's too much also already so uh, we're going to choose this one as I like this font and we are going to type hello world okay and you can uh, do a lot more on the font that you are going to use yeah like that Pinch to zoom in the world, and you can also edit uh, the font. You can click and drag where you want to put your font, your text here. You can add more if you want, here, like that. You can change the color as you like. Let's do a purple one. Put in um, okay. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Uh huh. This is the color. This is the color of the font. You can choose this. So change that one. Also, you can play around with this. Let's say I want the green color. And click. And then there you go. Uh huh. Then you can manually change the size of your font. Like, uh, let's say 90. Let's do a 50 like this. It will change the size of your font. So, usually, I try to make it like readable for the viewer. So, make it a little bit large. So, 95 that or more it depends on how you want to put it and it depends on your font like that you can add also images here so add text uh -huh. okay you can add another layer here add image let's say For the purposes of this, maybe we can put this one here. Yeah, like that. You can add like that. So it's pretty much easy, okay? You can play around with all these tools. Basic ones are free. All the advanced ones are a little bit pricey. You need to subscribe for it, okay? So, uh, we're now going to save this one. Okay. Save the image. Go to file. You can go to save. And then you can choose the name that you want. Like, hello world here and you can choose the file type so usually i i just use a jpeg or png it depends on you so if you choose the jpeg you can do you can uh, choose the quality to low low quality or mid it depends on how the youtube uh or your plat uh, selected the uh, platform requirements for example i just use low or mid so it shows that it's 70 percent it will shrink it down to 70 percent or on low quality it will shrink it down to 50 percent so this is the actual size of the jpeg I think uh can't remember what's the requirement of the JPEG for YouTube but actually I usually use low only so if this one is uh, enough for you then then you can uh, download it here choose choose uh, location so I want to choose the thumbnail location. Okay, and then save. So they will have an ad there for you to watch. So you can show which folder that is, and this is here. This is it, and this is the finished product. Okay. Okay. And that's it. You can now upload that to your YouTube videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Ciao!